Hi, Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications at the end of NAB 2022, day two, with Richard from Sonifex. Richard, thanks so much for being here. No problem. My voice is starting to go, so that's exciting. Sonifex is a new line for me, but I can see that you guys speak Dante. Sonifex is a company that's been running now for uh, 52 years now, mm -hmm. so, you know, and it's always been pretty much audio mm -hmm. that we've been involved with. Uh, right from the days of analog audio through digital and mic amps, headphone amps, and then it's just gradually evolved with the introduction of audio over IP. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we started doing the uh, Ravenna platform, and we still do. So we've still got products with that, um, and that runs as an AES67. Mm. But then more recently, probably in the last five sort of years, we've, we've moved over more with the, uh, with the Dante audio over IP. Okay, and so you've got this AVN Dio line. Um, so we've, you know, we've had this kind of close-up shot of the Dio one and O2. But tell me, tell what's going on here? So the the Dio one to sort of like one to nine boxes mm -hmm. are sort of single um, channel or stereo mm -hmm. channel units. So we have like a, a stereo input, a stereo output. Then we have a mic uh, amp, so you have the phantom and gain control mm -hmm. and filters on that, yep. all controllable from the front panel. Then we also have uh, the headphone amp mm -hmm. here, and then onto uh, unbalanced input mm -hmm. and output, then mm -hmm. a balanced input and output mm -hmm. on terminal mm -hmm. block, digital I.O. on XLR as AES3, and then BNC, and then the same digital in the terminal block. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a new unit here, which is our GPIO box. So uh -huh. um, the principle is that you can have two of those within your network, mm -hmm. and you can control via virtual or physical GPIOs, mm -hmm. um, other pieces of equipment mm -hmm. on, the, on the same sort of network. And the beauty of these are they're all uh, PoE mm -hmm. powered. Yeah. So it's just one connection. There's the Ethernet and the power. And so when we talked about earlier, like these are little problem solvers. So you know, you, you've got a Dante-based network, you need an extra headphone set, you need to output to a pair of analog speakers, you need to interface whatever, yeah. you take one of these boxes, throw an ethernet cable on it and throw it down. Yeah, that's pretty good. With the uh, Dante controller, you put it, the, the unit into the system, it recognizes it, and then you just go through the uh, actual, like the matrix, mm -hmm. and just route the audio either from that unit mm -hmm. or to that unit, mm -hmm. and just picking the, the audio signals that are actually on the Dante network. Yeah, and these are, and we also talked about throwing because these are metal, like these are very yep, robust. Yeah, these are a very robust, um, a nice shaped box that's no real sharp edges, but it's, it's quite robust, and if you do drop it, you're only going to scratch or dent, uh -huh. and also because it's got the connectors on there rather than fly leads. Mm -hmm. If the fly lead gets broken, you're done. Yeah. You're done. Mm -hmm. Whereas yeah. this, everybody's going to have the, a spare XLR to mm -hmm. XLR. Right. So you can use that, yeah. All right, so let's take a look at these larger DO boxes. Um, so I guess this is what, 10 through 20? So yeah, this is, this is a sample of the 10 to the uh, 20 sort of range. Mm -hmm. So if we start with like the 14, 15, and 16, mm -hmm. they are like the dual double versions of the smaller one to nine uh -huh. range. Yep. So we have this unit here, the DIO 14, mm -hmm. that does a, a stereo in and out on the same box. Mm -hmm. Then you have the 15, which does the uh, XLR inputs, four of. Yeah. And then the 16 is the XLR outputs, again, mm -hmm. four of. Then if we take the DIO 12, mm -hmm. it's the two of the DIO 9. Ah, I see, okay. Uh, you know, for this, um, those situations where you need a two mic input. Yeah. So you've a, a couple of uh, commentators or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use that straight into there. Same principle as the DIO9 with the gain on the front panel and the phantom power mm -hmm. and the, the uh, LF filter on there as well. And uh, this is pretty cool. I just noticed this. There is a, an FM tuner. Yeah. That's so cool. That's kind of going on from our uh, PC. Uh -huh. and radio capture cards. So uh -huh. they go in the PC and takes in the FM, AM, or mm -hmm. DAB signal. Sure. And you, it's done on a channel count of either 6, 12, 18, 24, mm -hmm. or 32. It's licensable. And that just brings it in from the FM, AM, or DAB, demodulates, mm -hmm. and then presents them as 
um, WDM on the PC with those. Ah. So this is using the same principle. Okay. So taking in your FM, AM signals and then demodulating and then presenting them as Dante audio channels to your network mm -hmm. so you can log on the PC or however you wish to log yeah. or just monitor, just yeah. purely for monitoring purposes. And listen to a lot of radio. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. Okay, and so up here, now we get into kind of the, the higher ones. So this one, uh, the DO19, has been pretty popular lately for folks that use a lot of AES3 if they need more channels from analog or, or from Dante, particularly with the Diva24. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a, it's a, a nice compact uh, um, AES IO converter that, because of its small form factor, it's, it runs on D subs on the rear, but gives you those 16 channels of IO mm -hmm. in a small format. Yeah, and then this was the one that you were particularly excited about. This is our DIO 10 unit, which is an SDI to Dante and Dante to SDI embedder, D embedder. Mm -hmm. um, that's proved very popular in the US. We've sold around 800 units so mm -hmm. far. And it's quite a niche sort of product. There's nothing else really like it in that sort of form factor. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a very, we're quite happy with that one with how the sales are going. Cool, that's great. And so um, I do want to move over here and just show that box because I think it's really fun, the commentator yeah, sure. box. I think it's really well designed. So here we have two, our two versions of commentary units. So here we have the traditional analog version. And then here we have our, what we call our AVN CU2, which mm -hmm. is our Dante commentary mm -hmm. unit. Pretty much similar mm -hmm. in sort of the amount of commentators that it can accept. So this is mainly two, but then you can bring in a, an audio source here. This is also two, mm -hmm. and you can bring in an audio source analog or digital on the rear. Mm -hmm. The beauty of this unit is these buttons, you can assign them to be what you want. Okay. You don't have to have your presenter one on air on that button. You can have it here. Mm. And the buttons are just uh, key caps. You flick them off and change the legend um, underneath okay. and change within the web GUI uh -huh. as to what the function is. Mm -hmm. And then it, and it shows up as you put it onto the screen. It gives you the ident of what that button is used for. So if the talent was like, I just really want this to be my program feed, yeah, you, you just, could, you you could just do that. map that to it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Great. And then you have your, you can have your talkbacks across here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it's proving another one that's proving really popular for us. The unit itself is powered by PoE. Okay. It's uh, dual redundant again, exactly the same as the other units. Mm -hmm. But this one also has two fiber ports as well. Oh, uh-huh. If you want to connect via fiber as mm -hmm. well. And you also have the ability to use the PoE to power, uh -huh. or there Four is also a, uh -huh. a 12 volt DC connection. Great, okay. And yeah. it gives you a bank of six rotary encoders mm -hmm. that allow you to adjust input level, mm -hmm. mix point levels, or output levels. Uh -huh. But you have a page cycle that effectively is four different pages. Okay. So that six becomes 24 of those mix points. So you could do a headphone mix and an output mix and another headphone mix. Yeah. And, and, and uh, each one yeah. of those would give you the individual control across it and you can scroll through. Mm -hmm. It does have a web GUI with it. Okay. Which gives you the routing and shows yeah. you where you've got audio on the inputs and outputs. Mm -hmm. And also these, these mix points, what they are and where they're ah, colored. Okay. So we are hovered over there and it's telling us it's encoder five on page two. So encoder five on page two is that one. So mm -hmm. it's COM one. And that's what that one is there. Got it. Okay. And I should mention that that you have larger, um, what is it? AI, um, you know, Dante interfaces that are also DC powered or PoE powered. PoE powered. Yeah. yeah. So we have the starting model is the AOI four, which is a four input, four output. Then we go on to the AOI eight, which is an eight input, eight output. Then eight, and then we have a sixteen input and a sixteen output. And then we also have a, an eight-channel AES mm -hmm. cool. unit. With the exception of the, uh, the AOI4 unit, all the other ones come as optional. You can have them as single mm -hmm. Ethernet, PoE, or you can have a dual redundant. Right, and that's what the Ethernet. R is for. Yeah, the R it. denotes that it's the R for redundant. Cool. All right, I just want to highlight one more thing. I love, I just love the idea of 
you know, watching a soccer game or a baseball game and listening to the commentators and them just having a talk back button that mutes them and so they can holler for coffee and then just going right back on the yep. air. It just, it tickles me pink. I don't know why. I know it's been around for a long time, but. Yeah, great function of the button. Blown. And it also comes across to here as well. Uh-huh, yeah, there it is, perfect. Yeah. Richard, thank you so much for being here and for taking the time to talk to us. No problem, thank you very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Will and do. Um, you know, for those of you watching at home, you can watch this video and more at gothamsound.tv. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, if you need to communicate with us, email us at info at gothamsound.com. Stay tuned for more from NAB 2022.